Bye, guys. Okay, so, well, first of all, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I did just finish crying. I, every time I start a YouTube video, I've been crying just beforehand, every single time, when I fail. I'm just so drained. Like, I can't be doing this college and working and assignments and social life thing. I. I feel like I'm not even making any sense while I'm speaking. Let's just get to the point. So this is going to be a Debs preparation vlog and I'll try and vlog while I'm at the Debs, but you know, with the amount of alcohol I'm going to be consuming, I cannot guarantee that. Um, and anything I do record, I cannot guarantee that it is safe to put out on the internet. So this is my boyfriend's Debs, it's not my Debs. And um, my boyfriend is like a year under me. He's only like three months younger than me, but he's a year under me in school. If you don't know what a Debs is, Debs is like, the it's like a prom or a formal um, and you have it on your last it was in your last year of school because when covid started i was in my last year of school i never did my final year of exams like i never did my leave insert or anything um, and my debs never went ahead like we didn't get a grab we didn't get a debs we didn't get anything but because now that like the restrictions are like lifting for good hopefully and um, my boyfriend's debs is going ahead and i'm so excited it was so last minute as well like my boyfriend like it was only kind of confirmed that their Debs was going ahead like two and a half weeks ago. Like literally, it was so close. So I was in such a time crunch to get a dress, but I literally got the most gorgeous dress ever and I can't wait to show you all. I was able to book my makeup in for tomorrow. Like I was thinking of doing my makeup myself, but like when I'm under pressure to like look really nice, I always look the shittiest. You know what I mean? Like it's like on my birthday, I look the ugliest because I'm trying my best to look my best. So I end up looking the ugliest. So I just couldn't, I couldn't trust myself with that pressure. So I'm getting one of my friends um, to do my makeup for me. But yeah, I'm just going to be doing some treatments and preparing myself. The Debs is tomorrow. It is half eight. Look, I was crying. I couldn't start any earlier than this. Okay, so I just put on my PJs and we're going to put some Olaplex in my hair. I just really don't want to have frizzy ends tomorrow. Like, see the way they are now? Like, I don't want them to be, like, scraggly like this. So we're going to douse the ends in some Olaplex. I know she's going to bark again. What did I tell you? I think you're supposed to put all the plex on wet hair, but I always prefer putting it on dry hair. I don't know, because I feel like the water like creates a barrier for the product. That probably doesn't actually make any sense at all. So I have the Olaplex fully loaded in my hair. It is absolutely lathered. And I have a cup of tea and I'm just gonna chill here and watch some YouTube while it like soaks into my roots and my hair follicles. After two hours of crying, there's nothing better than a cup of tea, honestly. Hey guys! So I just had my shower and you know what I've been using recently? I've been using the Monday hair care shampoo and conditioner. It got sent to me in PR and best shampoo and conditioner I've ever fucking used in my life. Also, I was like shaving my like armpits and stuff and I was about to get out of the shower. I had forgotten to shave my legs. I had... I had I had forgotten to shave, shave in my, okay. I forgot to shave my legs. I can't remember if I've said this already, but um, yesterday was Halloween. So I already have some tan on. A lot of it kind of came off in the shower there, but it's like still on my hands and stuff. Like guys, look how good that tan is. Oh my God, I just got a glimpse of my face in the camera. But um, yeah, as I said, I already have like some tan on. So I'm just gonna like put another layer on overneath. I didn't like um, overneath lads. You'd swear I don't speak English. I'm just gonna put another layer of the tan on top because the tan that I'm using is the vegan tan. I always get so many compliments when I wear it as well, but the best thing about it is that it doesn't like go flaky. Like, you know when like you have tan on and then you've had it on a while and it like starts to like go patchy and kind of scaly? That doesn't happen, it just fades off. Like you can see here, like there, I, I've had it on. I didn't, I didn't exfoliate, I didn't scrub, nothing. It just like fades off. And what I have on my hands is the mist and it's like, guys, 
it's just amazing. I'm just, I'm gonna put a sheet mask on. This is the Garnier Moisture Balm Super Hydrating and Soothing Mask. I also like to do this when I have my sheet masks on. It definitely doesn't do anything. Like, what am I doing? This doesn't do anything. Okay, so before I put on my tan, I'm actually gonna paint my toenails. Um, I will not be showing you my toes, don't worry. I think I've talked about this before on my channel already, but everyone needs to invest in gel nails and a UV lamp. I also got sent um, a load of nails from Kiss, like press-ons, and they're so pretty. But um, I got my nails done for the devs. Aren't these just the best? Oh my god, I'm in love. I literally showed my na- showed, showed, I literally showed my nail tech my dress and she was like, girl, I got you, I got you. I'd love to show me doing this, but I do not want to put my toes on the internet. I have um, this kind of pinky color on it. It actually looks like completely white on the camera there, but it's just like a light pink. But I think I want to go white. No, I need, no, I should go white. I should go white. Yeah, we're gonna go white. I'm just kind of evaluating what I'm doing right now. Like, I am spending so much time putting so much effort in for one night. I spent 50 euro on a set of gel nails for one singular night. It is half 11 p.m. I'd usually be in bed asleep by now and I'm painting my toenails for one night. I spent 180 euro on a dress for one night. This is literally like the most tedious thing ever because like obviously like my first nail, like my big toe is pretty big. But then the rest of them are like half my pinky. Like how, how am I supposed to put any polish on that? But if I don't put any polish on it, it's gonna look even weirder. It's like, why did you not put polish on your pinky toe? Or just like, I wish I could like shrink myself down. Like the way Selena Gomez did in that one Wizards of Waverly Place episode and then just paint my toenails. Okay, I'm just gonna do this and then come back because this will not be very interesting. Okay, but I'm also, I also because I don't wanna show you my toes. Okay, so I just finished them. That took me an hour. And they look like shit. They look so bad. Like it's literally, like it's quarter to one. Like, they look fine from like, sorry, I'm looking at my toes right now. I'm not showing you guys. They look fine from a distance, but I think I'm actually gonna put in my retainer with my whitening gel. Now, bear in mind, I have not worn my retainer in about three months, four months, probably. So this is gonna be painful, but look, I want my teeth white. Sorry, I know the lighting is absolutely atrocious in here, but this is the teeth whitening gel that I use. It's boutique whitening. So you just inject like a little dot of it onto like each retainer hole. This is gonna be so painful. I actually don't think I'm mentally prepared for this. Fuck me. Oh my God, that is so sore. And now the final and most important step, tanning. So I'm using vegan tan ultra dark. This is what I had on already, but obviously a lot of it has just washed off. So I need to freshen up the layer. And then on my face, hands and feet, I'm gonna be using the Vegan Tan Medium Self Tan Mist. This one's almost empty, I have two other bottles in there. Obviously I'm gonna be tanning off camera. So yeah, I'll be back when I'm nice and bronzed. No, lads. I'm literally midway through my tan right now. And I just realized I have nobody to tan my back. Obviously my mother isn't awake to tan my back. And second of all, I couldn't have even asked her anyways because I'm upset with her so I'm not talking to her. Right, nobody's allowed to look at my back, okay? Okay, so obviously my tan has not developed yet. It will develop over the next eight hours or something. But you can kind of see the color coming up already, like the uh, initial color. It's a really, really nice shade of bronze. But yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now, so I'll see you all in the morning. Well, it won't be morning for you, but I'll see you all in the morning. I actually just slapped my camera off the ground when I tried to record there. This is like a 700 euro camera. I almost bawled my eyes out. I am not mentally stable enough for this. So I just had a shower and I rinsed off like the first layer of the tan. It actually came out nice. I think I do have some like lines and stuff on my arms, but I didn't want to be too dark. Um, 
I just, I don't want to look orange. And especially because my dress is white anyways, I'm going to look fairly tan. But I'm just going to spray more of the tanning mist on my like face, neck and chest because tan never sticks to there for some reason. I have a feeling I am going to cry today. Again. And I better get that cry out before I get my makeup done because I cannot cry while my makeup is looking good. I think I'm going to go for a makeup look kind of like this. I just want it to be like all neutral um with maybe a little bit of shimmer but i just want to have like real smoky and like you know what i mean just something something like that just having some tea and toast for breakfast i really wish i was one of those influencers with like a really nice fancy kitchen you know like white with marble and like has like avocado on toast for breakfast but most of the time i just have like off-brand chocolate chip weedabix or tea and toast lauren's gonna be working her magic on my face Okay, I look like an old woman, lads. <laughs> okay, so I'm just back from getting my makeup done. Look at her. Look at her. She has magic hands. That's Lauren Bowes on Instagram. If anyone wants to know, but like she's so good. But I'm just about to do my hair now. I do not have a lot of time. I am under a bit of a time crunch. I think I'm just going to blow dry it and put some rollers in because um, I don't want to straighten it. I want it to be like really, really bouncy. Look at the fucking state of it, lads. <laughs> Kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. I'm just gonna finish this and then I will be right back. I'm ready. I'm actually so happy with the way I, my hair turned out. It's not as like kind of big as I wanted it, but I just it's you know it's classy kind of. This is my dress. I got it from this website called Oh Hello Clothing, and um, I think they're an Irish brand, and it is just gorgeous. I got it on pre-order, and it was only like 180 quid. Like it was so affordable. It is just amazing quality, and it has like diamonds here on the strap and everything. I am just obsessed. I'm heading over to my boyfriend's house now, and we're gonna take some pictures and stuff. And I'll try like vlog when I'm there and stuff, and just show what kind of gets on at Debs to anyone who doesn't know. So yeah, I'll see you all there. Look at that. Oh, it's a fucking video. Yeah. Is this going on your fucking YouTube? Bitch? <laughs>